Hello everybody. If you are a student and you have exams in a couple of days and you are feeling scared, sometimes depressed and you are finding that your mental health is not very good at this point of time, you always have lots and lots of thoughts going on in your mind. So let me tell you students one thing. This is a very, very common problem with many, many students. I can say as many as 90% of the students feel so. There are 10% students who are lucky enough and there are some students in that group, 10%, that who do not actually bother about their studies and they are not taking a study seriously. So the good sign is that if you are feeling depressed, if you are anxious, you are scared about your examination, it means you're taking your career and your studies very, very seriously. And it's a normal thing. Now, we are here today to discuss how to deal with this problem. We have understood that this is normal and many students face this. But knowing this is not enough. We need to know how to deal with this problem. The problem of feeling anxious and problem of feeling so many thoughts, having so many thoughts in your mind when you sit to study is a common problem and it can be dealt very easily by doing some simple exercises. So what are those some simple exercises? Number one, you have to take out some time during the day which time you are in which time you are sitting and just talking to someone who is very close to you, who understands you and will not judge you on the basis of things which you are telling him or her. It can be your parent, it can be your sibling, it can be any of your friend or any elder in the family. But make sure that you are just sitting and talking with this person and this phone call should not be there. Means this whole thing should not be on a phone call. It should be face to face so that the person listens to you carefully gives you the feedback or just listen sometimes you just have to vent it out yes this helps very very much to the students who have done this they have shared with me that this particular thing helps them so much if you are not fortunate enough to have someone like this in your house or in your near vicinity does not matter you just write it down Yes, writing it down or saying it orally in front of a mirror also helps a lot because ultimately what your brain wants that it wants it to come out. What is confined to your own heart, it has to come out. So when you say it to someone, you feel satisfied. If there is no one to share with, then you can write or you can just stand in front of mirror and say things. It will really ease out your stress. Number two. During the day and throughout the day means if, even when you are not studying and all, just be a spectator of your activities. If you have ever done yoga or any kind of, you know, spiritual exercises that relates to Bhagavad Gita and other spiritual texts in the Hindu mythology, uh, if you have attended Chinmaya Mission's classes as Bal Vihar in your childhood days or you have seen someone in your family doing so, you would be able to relate with what I am saying. There, they teach you how to be a spectator of your own activity. Means you leave your body and just stand outside. You have to imagine, virtually you have to imagine that what you are doing as a third person, you will see yourself what you are doing. And when you do so, you will be you know, very true analyzer or critic of yourself that what you said, what you did was right or no. And this practice is not easy. You can start with half an hour every day and then continue with this. When you start doing this throughout the whole day, you're just not telling anybody that you're practicing this. Just do it for yourself and you observe, keep observing yourself that how I did at this particular time, how I sat, how I did this. In this way when you keep on doing you will automatically correct yourself and it's a very very strong yogic practice of doing it and in many many uh, religions this kind of practice is uh, you know suggested to people to detach themselves here our purpose is not detachment here our purpose is to just to analyze that what is wrong with we are doing which is draining out or impacting on our mental health 
this could be as simple as watching too much of you know uh, internet um, content what is available on internet because when you consume too much of content which is available on internet be it music be it some kind of series some kind of movie and all you think you are relaxing but you are not relaxing actually your brain is taking all that information and that information is in your brain only and those thoughts also come when you are studying for example i saw some web series for half an hour every day as a break when i take a break from study i see this for half an hour and when i sit to study i think about the characters i think about the story what is going to happen next so is it not hampering my studies it is hampering i do not even realize that it is hampering my study so i should not be doing this so these two things talking to someone and be a spectator for your own actions and whatever you are doing during the day will really really help students and you will be benefited and your mental health will be under balance and you will feel that relaxation is there during the day when you are studying and one more thing let me tell you that some stress will always be there eliminating stress completely is not possible and it's normal to have some level of stress if your stress level is increasing too much you can take someone's help also there are a lot and lot of counselors available online also nowadays who can help you because many a times this particular part of having so much of stress and anxiety is ignored and the result of this is that during the exam the students are not able to perform well so do talk about this be vocal about your problem and if your problem is too severe it has to be dealt at this time only otherwise later on during your examination your anxiety and stress level is going to increase only and you will be helpless at that time because at the 11th hour nothing can be done so you have to start dealing it from now only and yes one more thing i want to ask all of you if you have some better suggestion you can share it with me over here so all the people who are watching this video they will also be benefited and in any way if this video has given you value it has given you some kind of input which is you know important for you you can share it with others and if you are new for the channel to the channel you can subscribe to my channel have a great day bye